Okay, hunky dory. This is like Operation Pond, uh, like step three to four. I think that's where we're getting at. Cause I did, we get like three, like two things. Not exactly at once. I just didn't videotape the uh, the one before. But anyway, so here's what has happened recently. It doesn't look like much at the moment, yet, but it's a work in progress. Now I say part three to four because, yeah, we're on part three, I think. Let's see, the first one was digging it out. And, or maybe I'm not, maybe not, maybe I'm just losing it. Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm right. First one was digging it out. The second one was um, the update on the, on the bridge slash dam. So, yeah, this this is three and four. The third being uh, this rubber. The rubber you see um, on the bottom. <clears throat> so, like I mentioned before, we put, we put down rubber on the bottom. So, when it does rain, which it did rain a little bit uh, Sunday... You see the little puddle over there. So it didn't rain much, which is good. Uh, so, but still, it's holding it in. It's holding the water. Very well, else, where it rained, it made a puddle. has dried up almost almost completely. And it's dried a little bit, but not completely. Over here. So that's good. So, in a way, it worked. And from my knowledge, we've had rubber all over this place ever since I was little. And I've seen uh, water being collected in the rubber and creatures using it just to chill in or to have their babies in. And there's been no uh, effect. Like the rubber didn't produce anything toxic in the water or anything. So this should not uh, make any problems when it's full of water completely. So that's good too. And if not... Um, well, maybe hopefully it, it's not a very big, uh, a very big issue, but it shouldn't be. I really didn't do my research. Cause I don't really know what to look up. I looked up rubber once before and didn't give me the right kind of rubber, so I really don't know how to pronounce this stuff. We just call it rubber around here. But I don't know. Maybe I'll just look up the wrong thing. Anywho, and now part four is where the pebbles come in. So, this is roughly, all, all this stuff right here, this is roughly a yard of washed river rock. That's what I remember. I know the yard part is, is, a, is definite, at least a yard. But last I remember, I think it was washed river rock where we got, this, where we got it. I didn't get, now all of it's not in, there's more in this trailer behind me. Well, not, not much more, but a little bit left. But there's roughly a yard right here. It almost completely covers all the rubber on the bottom. Not over there. I don't know what we're going to do for that over there. I don't know. Maybe it won't be too noticeable when it's full of water. Who knows? Anyway. But with my estimated guess. If, we, if I get another yard of pebble. Then this should be completely covered on the bottom. At least in this area. Down there, it may be hard to see, but there's a, there's a little groove where the water flows. It'll be more pronounced once it's full of water. But if I can get some all the way to that cross tree right there, wait, there we go, right there, if I can get some rock all the way there. I think it'd be good. At least, well, at least before the cross tree, because right where that cross tree is is where their pigs like to wallow when um, when it is full of water. We got a little mud wallow over there. So maybe before I get to the mud wallow, I'll have rock down this way. Or at least or at least from this rock barrier I got where these two rocks are, there's a few feet up. At least there. And maybe up that maybe up this hill. Right there. Maybe then it'll look pretty decent. 
He's enough that I won't have to worry too much about the sediment coming in when it rains, hopefully. And then afterwards, uh, I'll be adding in plants like a Java moss. I got a, um, what is it called? A, uh, it's, it's a root, a bulb. There we go. I got a uh, lily pad bulb. Hopefully it's still good. It kind of, it's kind of dried. But it should be okay once I put it back in water. Anyway, I got a lily, I got a lily plant uh, bulb. I'm going to try to put in the exact center right there. Hopefully it stays. And if it's, if it's still good, once the water comes in, it probably take next, like, the uh, following spring or summer, maybe. Most likely. Since, since it's basically autumn now. So it would probably be spring or summer when um when the plant starts to take root and start to uh produce its leaves but hopefully it won't have moved that much from all the ad addition of water and stuff but anywho uh i'll be adding java moss uh lily pads uh what was the other plants uh duckweed duckweed especially duckweed uh, well, not especially, just, I want to add duckweed. I think that'd be a nice addition as well. And there's another one. It's, it's similar to duckweed. I can't put my finger on what it was called. Anyway, but after I put those kind of plants in, probably gonna have some more. Not just, I was just getting a, 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 a for instance, of what kind of plants I'm going to get. After that is when we start looking on what creatures we'll put in here. I'm going to start off with the small ones. Let them get a good population going before I add in bigger fish. So like uh, shrimp, freshwater shrimp, like ghost fi like ghost shrimp. Um, I think they call it cherry shrimp. I think that's another one, cherry. <coughs> um, there are a few others. I can't remember the names. I just remember ghost and cherry. I think I'm getting the, the cherry one right. No, I know what ghost shrimp is. I've had ghost shrimp before when I was younger. They didn't last long. Yeah, that just didn't see them a lot. Anyway, uh, so we'll ha be adding those. Uh, we're gonna have zebra daniel because last I checked, they can withstand cold water. We need. I need cold water fish to go in here. Like fish that can, can withstand. Um, the water when it gets chilly. It shouldn't get too cold around here. Especially in the water. But hopefully they'll be okay. And we're gonna get some mosquito fish. Which are basically just like, uh, wild guppies, basically. They're just they're the same size as guppies. Uh, they do the same thing guppies do, basically. They're just not as colorful. So we're gonna have those in there. Um... Maybe those bait fish, if y'all know what I'm talking about, those, they call them minnows. I think they call something else where they're native from. We call them, we call them minnows around here. So I get those too. Hopefully they don't eat the shrimp right away. And we're just going to just let that population grow for a minute. And maybe around spring and summer when it gets warmer, I'll add in some bigger fish. Well, not too big, just like a, a size up. Like uh oh, I almost forgot. Also get also gonna get some um some American flag fish. Maybe people might not know what those are. At least I don't know. I know I didn't know until I found out what they were and got me some uh to try them out. And I did some research on them. They actually they're actually in Florida. That's how I remember. I think they're in Florida. They're native in Florida. I think. I mean, I'm pretty sure they are. Since they're called American flag fish. Anyway. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some of those, cause those, they can withstand cold water too. So, I'm gonna have those in here, and they produce roughly the same as Zebra Daniel, last I remember. They lay, they lay eggs on plant matter during the, like, during dawn and dusk, last I remember, if I did my homework right. So, yeah, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have those. Uh, like I said, the bait fish, and I don't know what's bigger than bait fish just yet. And that can withstand cold water, but we'll see. We'll just see how things how things play out. <clears throat> Actually, it probably should rain 
in November or December. Hopefully it don't rain anymore until I get all this uh all the rocks in. But at least uh we were scared I was scared mostly that even though we did not get all the rocks in <clears throat> before it rained that Sunday, they will wash they will mess up the uh, tarp. But it didn't. So that's good. Of course it didn't rain hard and there was a flash flood, but still pretty good. So hopefully we can get all uh, the rest of the rocks in. Pro like I said, probably another yard should do it for this area. And I might be satisfied, depending on how it looks. It looks all right right now. It looks pretty decent. Probably need to add some bigger rocks. I got some big rocks here and there. They were basically just there to keep the tarp. I keep calling it tarp, just to let you know. Um, cause it looks, it's basically tarp. I put we put those big rocks there to keep it from moving from the wind until we got some of the pebbles in here. But I want to add some bigger rocks as well, make a little like rock structure for a shelter and stuff. But uh, I think that's it. That's it for right now. I think. Let me think about it. Well, I do have one thing. Um, I'm also going to add in hopefully some um, jellyfish and y'all might be thinking I'm, I'm nuts for saying that but actually there are freshwater jellyfish in my area I'm not going to say where I live I don't think I've mentioned it where I live before so just in case anyway but there are freshwater jellyfish in around in, in my state basically in fact if, if not too the lake that they were found in is not too far off of where I am I haven't seen them in person, but I've looked it up, and there are freshwater jellyfish, and I think adding in a good population in here will make the place look really good once it's full of water, we got life, just beautiful, colorful life of different fish of various sizes and other things living in this area, all the animals are coming here to take a drink. Hopefully they don't drink up the the jellyfish. I mean, those stings aren't dangerous. They still are able to sting. Ooh, that'd be spicy. That'd probably be spicy, maybe. I don't know. What does jelly What do jellyfish taste like anyway? Hmm. Oh well, I probably never try it, so I won't know. Uh. <clears throat> so yeah. That's a, actually that's kind of a concern now. I think about it. Well, maybe they won't. Maybe the jellyfish will move out of the way, or maybe, maybe they won't be so close to when the animals coming for their drink. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I think that's about it. That's all I got to cover with regards to the pond. So I'll see you guys next time.